Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Well and adieu, you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu, you ladies of Spain. For we received orders to sail to old England. Oh, did you see that then? I just drifted my cat. Ha <laughs> ha. Oi there, mates. This be pirate, pirate pilgrims. Aye, that's me. And this is my new base, the shipyard. Aye, it is. I built this all by myself. It's pretty big. Um, we'll go on a little tour there and have a look around. That there, that's Big Dave. He's the guy that guards the doors and stops any scallywags getting in. Aye. He, he ain't afraid of death, cause he's ginger, and he's got no soul, aye. Right, I wonder whether I'll get, uh, copyright strikes for singing a 200 year old sea shanty. Aye, ha, we'll soon find out, ha, right, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not gonna keep that pirate voice up all the way for you guys. Uh, right, let's get on with the tour. The idea for this place was, like, the British had built, like, a, a naval port, and it had been taken over by pirates, and they sort of built their own, like, shanty town and, you know, rebuilt the place, like a little mini Tartuga. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to have, like, all the benches and things, you know, to create all the ships, everything you need, and make them look like the market stalls and stuff around the front of the port. And I've got, like, a big warehouse at the back where you can bring all your supplies in, so you could have, like, people out there that have got all the skills in farming and stuff bring all your wood and all your supplies in you need and then have people inside the base that have got skills in shipbuilding and you know construction and they can just be getting on with like churning your ships out i wanted it to be like a bit of a pvp area so like i've put like guard towers up some of them have got loads of like the, the smaller ship cannons and i've got some large cannons and puckle guns up top um oh yeah this is the this is the warehouse bit just thought, like the bears with the carriages and things bringing supplies in all the time yeah, so I understand like if you're playing PvP, something like this where you where you've got all your supplies and everything and like your main base, it's better off inland away from ships, uh, somewhere you can really fortify and secure. And when you come to build your ships, it might be better just throwing a shipyard down and you know getting it out as quick as possible before it gets attacked or something. But for you know PVE servers or roleplay servers or something, it'd be pretty good. Um, and yeah, if you've got a massive company, you've got people on all the time. You could you could have something like this, which is well defended. Uh, and yeah, right on the coastline. So all the walls are like double thick. Um, I could have built them out of triangle supports and put another walls in between as well to make it really difficult to get through. But with the side of the ports being open, you know, someone could swim around anyway. But yeah, aside from all the PvP stuff, um, I just wanted it to look pirate, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like. All the wood and different structures have just sort of been thrown up around the, the actual fort itself. So that's why you've got like all the different walkways and little houses for like um, you know, beds and stuff like that. I used a mix of thatch and wooden building structures to put all this together. The sections, that, like the angle bits out, like the holding it up are just the, the big door frames, the sloped door frames. And yeah, I just put like supplies and water barrels around there and just to make it look like it looks like a working port that guard tower over there on the left that's just both i think there's like two levels in that one it's just all um ship cannons the smaller ones and then the bigger towers here with like the sections hanging over there you've got like large cannons in and puckle guns and stuff you sort of like cover the whole base you've got the npcs on them it'll pretty look, much look after itself it's cool all these houses here hanging off the side you can get up and down go through them and everything but I think I'll be doing like a, quite a few videos from here, so you probably get a better look around another time. This, um, I, I did this in my other castles, just like at the windows as gun ports, you know, so you can look out and protect the base. And then the same idea as I did in the big castle. Uh, built lift systems going through the towers, and just I've got an NPC pirate up top controlling it, so it just works like an electric lift then. Just got to keep the guys fed and paid like i said in the other video but they work really well and then these top sections are far if the guys on the lifts um get shot you know through the gaps here they'd be no good so i've sort of put them inside and then ladders going up to the very top might also be worth putting some hatch frames in next to the lifts and put ladders up just in case that guy dies or the, the lift gets broken or something. At least you can still get up and down the towers properly now. I think I actually did that in one of the towers when I was, you know, thinking it through. 
There's plenty of room inside these places as well to sort of fill up. But I know like with the new, um, when they patched it and they put like the extra stuff in you need to build walls with. And um, they've just made like farming a bit more difficult for the stone structures I think. That's really because people really enjoy building, even on PvP servers. It's like one of the main things and the harder they make it the more they annoy people. <laughs> Yeah, so I set up all the crafting benches like right out in the dock so you can sort of like drag your supplies there, get stuff built, take it straight out and get your ships done. See, when I built these um, walkways, most of them are made out of purely foundations up to about that little thatch building there. And then I had to run the foundations deep underwater because this where I am now on this beach, it sort of drops straight off. Um, so I ran foundations on the sea floor and then just made some like um, just pillars really to hold the ends up and then just ran ceilings out and walls down the side so you sort of it looks like it's like a full structure but yeah even though it's at sea level if you get a storm it, it kind of floods a bit <laughs> one of my NPCs has been washed off the docks there so I'm just trying to get him back up sorted This section here isn't nearly all bamboo, instead of like a load of wood as well. And I put a couple more lift systems in, but I think what I've done here, see the bamboo doorway there? I think that's stopping the lift going up. That, that whole bit needs to be clear. Just stops dead there. It's not the rope ladders that are stopping it. But uh, you have to fix that. Yeah, I didn't like mind this bit not looking you know, like really smart and symmetrical or anything I just wanted it to look like pretty ramshackle like it had all been thrown together by the pirates and then I was thinking of building more walls out at sea um, you know at the side of the actual docks and more towers and things but I've got like these big stone pillars that go around the base, so I'm going to build the towers on them. But I'm, I'm like I said, I'm on the PvE area of the cluster here, so I'm safe anyway. But I'm definitely going to go and build some stuff in the PvP zone and see how that goes. Another guard tower there, just another bit of a different design. You get out onto the roof, and stuck a couple more cannons up there as well. Usually when I'm recording, I would have made sure it was daytime and great weather just because it's easier to see everything. But because I'm on the cluster, I can't really mess about with this whole server block just to film a video. Everybody else is sort of doing stuff around there. So I think it's like everything I build, it's always got like an RPG feel to it because I always like to build something that would look cool if you were playing through a game and sort of come across a little town or a city. But yeah, I'm happy with this place. <laughs> have a quick fly over and show you it from some different angles so you can get a proper look at the place got a small dock got two large docks got another galleon being built there the small house on the left hand side that was already built into the map so I could have extended the walls down this left hand side of this dock as well and put another tower at the end just to protect it. The seabed here is really deep though. Like I said, it just drops off, off the, the beach. I've recorded big chunks of the build, so I'll sort of show you how I built all that. Um, it, it's not like a conventional how to build video. I've not gone through like every single little step because every, every island's different. So when you're gonna come to build something like this, it depends what the terrain's like and how sloped down the beaches and things like that. So I've sort of shown how I did the the uh, foundation sections to get the, the shape of the base. Then the walls going up, then the towers, and just some little things, you know, where I sort of embellished it all. And just the wooden sections, but like just little chunks of them because everything's gonna be a different shape when you come to build it. But at least with the video, you can see how I put the different sections together and sort of incorporate that into your own base if you come to build it. Um, yeah, that's all edited and done. Uh, I just need to put a bit of text in it, so I'll get that out in the next couple of days. That ship over there on the right, the red one, that's called the Golden Diablo. I think Diodora Diablo is 
Golden Diablo in Spanish. Diablo, that, oh, Golden Devil anyway. That's what I'm going to be using for the um, PvP event. So that's got like Mastercraft planks and Mastercraft uh, decks. It's got guns from like fine to legendary. Uh, it's got, it's just kitted out. It's going to be like a little mini boss, and I'm going to take it through the PvP zone as a treasure ship and just let everybody come and try and take it over or sink it and go and recover the treasure gonna have about twenty thousand gold on it and a lot of blueprints so that should be fun should be recording that this weekend or next so yeah get a bit more get a bit more different content on the channel should be good you see how i built the warehouse at the back there with the free di um dino doors that's like that the three small gates you just bring your supplies in and out I would have liked to have built this place about three times bigger so that you've got these like little tight streets to go through with all the shops and the wood and everything. Um, if there was more sort of different designs on the benches and things like that, I think it would have looked better. But I didn't want to go massive like that big castle I built up on the mountain. Just so it was just simpler to build really if you were going to take a, a shot at it. This is how I built it up section by section. That was the first lot of foundations to go down. Then I sort of planned out where the towers were going to be. Uh, then the walls went up. And then the front of the manor house. Well, slash warehouse. And I got the dock sections in. And that's all built. And you see like that's when I started building all the wood and putting all the structures in. Getting the towers built up properly with the cannons in. That's pretty much the finished thing. So I could just put the storage all around the docks and everything. Like, like I said, like supplies were being dropped off and brought in gives it that like, like i said earlier that rpg sort of feel to it and that's about it sorted uh yeah thanks for liking subscribing uh if you get a chance guys share it about a bit for us really appreciate that and thank you very much for watching and i will catch you later